Warning! The following video is intended for viewers 13 years and older. Viewer discretion is advised. You're here. You're ready. Welcome to my world. Welcome back YouTube, it's I'm Ghost of Sparta and I'm here with another fantastic review for you guys. This is Retro uh, Reviews for you, it's like the third or fourth episode, um, but it'll pop up on the screen for you so that way you guys will know which episode this is. So we're looking at the Batman Forever Street Bike Robin. So it's a very old figure, you're talking about, you know, 1998, 95, around there. We'll, we'll see the date on the package sooner or later. And uh, I just wanted to say, Happy Independence Day to everybody. I hope you guys are being safe out there with all those fireworks. Please, I don't want anybody blowing off their hand. So please be very safe. Enjoy this, you know, great holiday. Have a lot of fun. And once again, be safe. So we're about to unbox this guy. Take a good look at him. And this is just a little blast from the past. So that way you can see what figures have evolved into from before and now. From the past to the present. So let's take this guy out get those size comparisons going. So we have Batman Forever Robin with SH Figure Arts Goku, Marvel Legends Deadpool, NECA Predator. So now that we got the size comparisons out of the way, we can see right here that yeah, this one is definitely from 95. You can see it right there at the bottom. It says 1995. I'll zoom in on it for you can see it. So that's when this bad boy came out. So we can see this figure doesn't stand very tall compared to the rest. Um, he has a lot of accessories, which is pretty neat. Um, they actually have like he actually has like a firing mechanism on it and it's like a backpack and it's a grappling hook pretty neat so let's take a look at this figure and how well the paint apps and sculpt that they do back in 1995 i mean that's basically what we're looking at here so the paint apps looks decent enough i mean this figure is what over 20 something years old um you got the nice brown you know like a melted chocolate brown with the red you got the black r the sculpting i mean all of this is pretty much like flash molding in my opinion they have like a mold to get the r is actually stitched right here that they were able to mold that in there and the arms are basically stuck in this position you know you only get that position to be able to pose them or do anything his head's on a nice swivel there he has a nice little orange bandana i mean this looks nothing like christopher donald I mean, you let me know in the comments if this guy does. If you guys haven't seen any of my other retro reviews, like I said, this is like the third or fourth episode, take a look at the card above so you can take a look at it, at the rest of them. So you can take a look at the boots here. So these are motorcycle boots because as we know in the movie, Robin likes to ride a motorcycle. And they looked all right. I mean, they got everything there. I feel that they could add some silver to the buckles, but that's asking too much for 1995. So let's take a look at this guy's articulation so hit it it's articulation time meh 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 so we have one of his accessories there it's a big bulky backpack this is supposed to be his saddlebags of his motorcycle and they can insert a grappling hook and fire his grappling hook so that we can ascend over a building or what have you and then he also comes with this nice little staff here that has a knife on top and yeah pretty much these guys from 95 were so difficult to stand they were feet were molded in a specific way that they can only stand in that specific way so check out this out check this staff out so we got a little molded knife here a little molded knife at the top this is supposed to be like something to keep it all nice and soft for him and then you also have the bike chain or lock chain right here i don't know if you guys are picking that up there we go so you can see all that there on this staff and he can only hold it right here because his arms can't move or rotate so yeah that's pretty much it with this figure now this figure does have a gimmick where it can blast the harpoon so let's take a look at that and that's it that's all you get so he does have some string because you can able to hang this on somewhere and then you can use it to be able to hoist mr robin up here those clip on like so and then you can have that dangle somewhere and then you have robin essentially escaping with the damsel in distress or batman who might be in distress and takes him up so what did you guys think about this retro review do you guys even like the retro reviews i mean seeing these figures from the past that i acquired you know i go to garage sales or i find them at the swap meet 
just to see, you know, just to go down memory lane to see what figures were back in the day. I mean, these figures were super, super detailed to me as a kid compared to what I'm buying now as an adult, you know, SH Figure Arts, Figma, you know, Marvel Legends. I mean, all of these figures started, all those companies started with figures, something like this. You know, I'm pretty sure SH Figure Arts was some kind of toy company that was able to produce something like this over there in Japan. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought about this. I want to keep doing these. I'm going to find more figures. Let me know if you find if you have any figures that you want me to look for, and I'll try to look for those. If you guys are hearing big explosions, that's because people are lighting fireworks. And like I said, you know, happy 4th of July, guys. Just wanted to say you guys have a nice holiday. And I hope you guys really enjoy this review, and I'll see you guys on the next review.